Hey guys, Deb Cubing here, and today you're watching my full review on the Dion Pyraminx. The Dion Pyraminx goes from about $15 to $17 on most cubing websites, but yet it comes with small yet very dark colored shades. Let's talk a little bit about tips. So out of the box, the tips were very sluggish, and they were a little bit locky. But after lubing the Matraxxus 50K and lubing the whole puzzle, they turn extremely fast, even faster than my Moyu puzzle. Now the overall t puzzle turning is, well, with the ball bearings, this puzzle turned extremely crunchy, but using the ball bearings did allow me to have several lockups, which is why I decided to remove the ball bearings, which I would definitely recommend doing. So on the other hand, when removing these ball bearings, this is a completely different pyramid. While removing the ball bearings and slightly improving on the Florian mod, this pyramid is extremely fluid and super fast. Almost too fast for me, in fact. So for some, this pyramid they actually didn't even like. They even said their shank shell was better than this. Well, in some cases, yes. As you all know, dial-on puzzles, sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. But as you guys all know, you have to properly break in a puzzle and t and lube it. But um, a lot of people aren't used to having to do that because now with these newer puzzles out there, like the newer Moyus, um, they can get broken in after just doing first turns. Not with the Dion Pyramid, so you have to properly break this in, doing a few hundred solves and just lubing it and tensioning it to really make this Pyramid good. But back on the topic, turning speed. The turning speed is super fast, but the feeling is super smooth without the ball bearings. But yet, it has that nice dial crunchiness feeling, which still makes the overall puzzle very controllable, which allows me to perform algorithms super fast. So as if for corner cutting goes, it's actually not very good with this pyramid, so it's just one of the only downsides about it. It can only cut about two-fourths or about half a QB, maybe even three-fourths on some occasion. But that's one of the downfalls of this Pyraminx. But again, it is extremely controllable, which decreases lockups. Now, my overall opinion on this Pyraminx is very interesting, actually. It's extremely fast. It's very, very smooth, yet crunchy. It performs algorithms amazingly. But it does lack corner cutting, as well as it, it is too fast for some cubers. So overall, this cube gets a 8 out of 10 stars on some occasions. But if you're going to want a great pyramid, you're going to have to put some time and work in modding and lubing this puzzle until it fits your needs. I definitely recommend taking out the ball breaks, or this puzzle just isn't too great. But overall, I can really only recommend this puzzle to faster pyramid solvers. One, because with the ball bearings, this puzzle is very crunchy and very locky. But without the ball bearings and putting a lot of time and effort into this puzzle, it becomes a very good, but yet it's still too fast for some slower pyramid solvers, even with some higher viscosity lube. Now, this is a very unusual pyramid, but still it managed to take place of my Moyu pyramid, and this is my new main. It is very fast and can handle my turning speed, and I've already gotten new PBs easy with this puzzle. I definitely love this puzzle, in my opinion. So, yeah, that wraps up this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and see you later.